So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up basic multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365. There are different ways of setting up MFA or multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365. There are methods that do this on a conditional access basis, but we're going to look at the pure basic way of setting this up. So what is multi-factor authentication anyway? Well, multi-factor authentication is a way of making the user logging into a system provide additional details to verify they are who they say they are. So for example, after they've inputted their standard username and password, they may get prompted to enter a code, which can be accessed from an app or from an SMS sent to the mobile phone. We'll go through the basic steps to set up Microsoft multi-factor authentication, both from the administrative viewpoint, and then we'll also have a look at what the user sees as well. Okay, so when it comes to multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365, there are different ways of implementing it. Now, the important thing to remember is that all Microsoft 365 plans allow for multi-factor authentication. But the way you implement MFA can differ depending on the type of subscription that you have. So, for example, if you have a Microsoft 365 business premium account or a Microsoft 365 e3 account, then you can use something called conditional access policies to implement MFA. And what this basically means is that you can say if your user is the member of a certain group or other similar criteria, then multi-factor authentication is automatically applied. However, um, across all Microsoft 365 plans, including the basic plans, you can implement MFA on a user by user basis, but it is important to note that Microsoft don't recommend you do this. Microsoft do recommend that you switch it on for all users on the tenant. Um, what we are going to do in this video though, because we're keeping this basic, is we're going to have a look at switching on MFA just for an individual user. So let's go ahead. The first thing I do is I log in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And the way I normally do this is I go to all the active users over here on the left hand side and then I click on the multi-factor authentication. So what that does first of all is that loads up a list of all my users. So what I do is I select the user that I want to enable MFA or multi-factor authentication for and I click on the enable option. I then click enable multi-factor authentication down here. And it tells me that multi-factor authentication is now enabled for the selected account. So I'm gonna close that button and I can see that the MFA status is now enabled against this account. So once we've enabled MFA for the user, the easiest way I find to set this up properly is to then ask the user to go to a web browser and go to office.com. If they then sign in, enter the password, at this stage they'll be told that more information is required. All the user needs to do here now is click on the next button. And at this stage, they'll be asked to set up their MFA preferences. So I can see here, I've got a drop down that allows me to select whether I want to do this via phone, an office phone, or via a mobile app. Now, I do find the easiest way to authenticate is to use the Authenticator app provided by Microsoft. So I'm going to select mobile app from here. And it's asking me how I want to use a mobile app. Well, I'm going to ask to receive notifications for verification. Once we've done that, all we need to do is click on the setup button. At this stage, a QR code appears. So all the user needs to do is so long as they have gone to the App Store and downloaded the Microsoft Authenticator app, is point the app to the image that's on screen. 
So just so you see, you can see how this works properly. You can see my uh, iPhone is mirrored on the screen up here. So all I'm going to do on my iPhone is press C plus in the top right hand corner and go to the work or school account option. And hold up the phone to the QR code. I didn't even have to take it to near that time, but you can see that it's automatically added my account to the authenticator app now at the bottom here. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go to next on screen here. And it's just checking the activation status. It's telling me now that the mobile app has been configured for notifications and verification codes. So I'm going to click next there. So if I go back to my iPhone, it's now asking me to approve the sign in. So I'm going to press the approve button here. And this is because Microsoft is just trying to reach my phone here. Okay, it's just asking me to ask phone verification to my password. So I'm setting that up to my standard phone number. And this is where it's asking me to use password verification for any of the apps that I have installed on my phone. So all I'm going to do now is click finished. And if I now log back into my Office, oh, sorry, my Microsoft 365 account, you can see that it's now sent an approval request to my phone as it tries to log in or log into Microsoft 365. So there we have it, the basic steps to authenticate with Microsoft 365 multi-factor authentication. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, do leave them below. Don't forget to give us a like. Do subscribe for more videos and we'll be back soon.